there's a few of those back in uh, early 2000s they discussed and and just thrown back and forth a discussion on just passing eight billion dollars at one time you know eight billion dollars i mean now as you just said uh wayne a, a hundred billion dollars is just hey just go ahead and give it to them uh taxpayers won't miss it i mean right. it's out of control our country's in trouble uh, you know, we were 33 trillion in debt September the 18th of this past year. Three months later, uh, I think December the 28th, we were another trillion dollars in debt. That's how much, that's how fast now we're going down the well. I mean, we're, we're, we're sliding down the cliff very fast and nobody wants to cut anything. So our house, new house speaker comes up the other day and I don't know the ins and outs of what the house does, but they come up with the top line for this year of the, how much we were going to spend, it was $1.7 trillion. And so oh, we're, we're cutting, we cut 6 billion out of 1.7 trillion. Ooh. Yeah. And <laughs> guys, I'm on, you know, I'm, I'm not a politician I, and I'm up here trying to help the people of Alabama and the people of this country through education and, and all the things that go around that people really need to really think about, but we're in trouble. We're in trouble just for the simple fact that we got people that, that think that this is play money and yep. our kids are, I used to say our kids and grandkids are going to suffer. We're going to suffer. Uh, mm -hmm. We're getting ready to suffer. We, my first two years here, we spent, I think six trillion dollars more. We did that, that we didn't need, that we didn't, we didn't have to spend it. We, you know, we're coming out of COVID, but Biden comes in. He said, man, I, Hey, I'm fired up. Let's, let's just spend this money. And by God, we passed more money. We passed an infrastructure bill that was $1.2 trillion. We had I some that. Gen Republicans yep. that voted for it. And by yep. the way, half of that money, you know where it went? Climate change overseas yeah. that we give to other countries so they wouldn't build these power plants that were giving out carbon. These climate cons are running us in the ground. It is a hoax, folks. We do not have a climate problem. What we have is an intelligence problem that's very greedy and they want your money and they want you to spend your money on something we shouldn't have to. So it is, uh, I, I, I get frustrated sometimes to watch what's going on up here, but hopefully we make a change in, in uh, what's going on over in the White House, which we don't know what goes on over there because nobody ever tells us, but uh, uh, hopefully we make a change in 10 months. If we don't, uh, this country won't make it. I, I'm 100% uh, uh, believe that. I agree with you, uh, Coach, and, and, and I'll tell you, one of the things we like to do on this show, um, they use the language as a weapon. When they introduce this term trillion, nobody really, a, a lot of people can't get their arms around that. You say 33 trillion, that's 33,000 billion. You know, I mean, you just can't, there's no way that you can wrap your arms around. That's too much money, too, too high of a number. But I, I wanted to, that, that's just a comment. I wanted to ask you about something. I'm a 35-year Army veteran. And when I got back from Iraq, I started using the VA system, the VA healthcare system. Uh, not because I didn't have insurance. I have insurance. It gets applied to my services at the VA. I have a really big VA in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, I like the running game too, by the way. Uh, but <laughs> I wonder, you know, I, I, I called in, in, in all fairness, the VA saved my life twice, right? And I have to get procedures there every now and then. And it seemed like the last time I called, which was last week, uh, it seemed like they were reluctant to see me, you know, and, and it was just a feeling that I got. And, you know, you hear these stories about illegal immigrants inundating the VA healthcare system. What's going on with that, sir? I think you're involved in that fighting. Oh, yeah. I'm on, I'm on the VA committee, Hutch. And if you can notice behind me, this is my dad's five bronze stars and a purple heart. He received uh, coming out of World War II at age 18, wow. uh, landed at, uh, Utah beach and drove a tank across Europe. Wow. I've been to the VA many times with him when he was still alive. Uh, our VA system, uh, is the biggest healthcare system in the world. Uh, mm -hmm. we have 22 million veterans in the United States of America, 22 million after these crazy wars we've been fighting for 20 years. Uh, so, uh, as I go to these VAs, uh, the numbers I get as a coach, you know, we can, all over the country, we get numbers that we can only see 11 million of these veterans. We can't, we can't treat all 22 million. The lines are getting longer and longer. So what we came up with with this system called community care, where if you live in a rural area like in Alabama and you're 150 miles from the VA, you know, if 
if you need to go see a doctor for some reason, you go to this community care. It's only for veterans. And it's it's worked very good, to be honest with you. We need to get really more away from the VAs and have these community cares for people like you, Hutch. But uh, what I found out here recently is Joe Biden, with his infamous wisdom, with all these thousands of migrants coming in, we are allowing now from the Biden administration these illegals to go to these community care centers. And so now, oh, what we set up for the veterans now is being overrun by the by the migrants. And people say, well, we, we can let we 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 love people, and we do. You know, we want to take care of people. We can't take care of three or four hundred thousand a month. It's impossible. These people, absolutely, I don't know what they've got in mind for this country, but it's not good. And uh, I hate what's happened to you, Wayne. That, I mean, Hutch, that you can't get into a VA. You should be able to go without a, an appointment and see anybody that you want to see. I'm for giving everybody a health card and go to any hospital you want to that is served for this country. It's embarrassing of how we treat our veterans.